So once you have set up your WordPress website, the very first thing you will want to, to install SSL, which is for security. You go to your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins and search for free SSL. Now, if you can look down there, you can see uh, there are so many options. Scroll down to free SSL certificate plugin for WordPress auto install. It should be auto install free SSL. All right, and it's a cool it's a cool plugin. You see, uh, I install it even on shared hosting, and it and it can auto renew your plans. Okay, so after you install it, you have to activate it. Once you activate it, then you can go to settings where you can see there are some basic settings or activate force HTTPS. Now don't do it now because your website doesn't have a SSL. So you don't do this part right now. Go to basic settings and change some of these settings. For example, um, you can change your country, your email. I will change my country to Tanzania, the United Republic of, and the state, which is really required. I will write it as Dar es Salaam. I will also enter the organization name. Now, if you use a cPanel, you can choose a cPanel. If you don't use cPanel, then you can choose whatever your website directory is. So for me, it's here. So I will just copy it here and then I will paste it here. Now, make sure that you don't use a trailing slash after the username. Okay. All right. And um, you will need to have a directory. This plugin will create a directory but will, you will have to write the name so i will just write secure files uh, blah 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 it doesn't matter you just write any name that's not there otherwise it may be replaced all right now change the time to seven days for renewal and if you have a cpanel here you have to choose yes if you don't have a cpanel then you you will have to choose no Okay, how we agree to the themes of Fresh Script and Free SSL. And the very first step is done. So those are basic steps. So since I have cPanel settings, I will go to cPanel settings. If you have a lot of domains, then you, you may also choose that uh, exclude domains to exclude some domains to this. So I will just enter my cPanel host login URL. And then I will use my username and password and then I will just go like that. Once I've done this part here, then I'll add the cron job and it will just, uh, it doesn't need any settings. And then issue the install free SSL certificate. When you click OK, then here you need to step back and watch as the guy take over your website since you have given him all your credentials of your website cpanel username password and everything now he is taking over your whole website now let me see what what he is doing okay well page is okay now it opens in with https but notice that there is a warning here that parts of this page are not secure what does this mean? You see the logo there? The logo, because it was it, it was uploaded while using um, HTTP, so its address is HTTP, so we need to activate false HTTP. That means any calls to HTTP will be redirected to HTTPS. And once you are done with that part, now if I open it again, the website, and then I check the, for that lock there, it shows everything is all right connection is secure all right if you like this share and subscribe peace out